Hi, everybody. Welcome to week three for the MLBA Hoops Report. I'm Steve Erickson, coming to you from Canada's lovely West Coast, sitting down here in Jericho Beach, lovely Vancouver's West End. Well, this past weekend wrapped up. It saw three games played on the hardwood that saw a pair of games played on Saturday, April the 22nd. The Southeastern Conference had the Georgia Kings crown the Panama City Piranhas by a huge score of 155 to 115 in a game that was played at the Oval. Panama City Piranhas were founded in 2017 and first joined the North American Basketball League. In early 2018, they joined the newly created Minor League Basketball Association, and some of the ex-players that played for them included power forward Rashad Perkins, guard Shaikim Jackson, who attended Montevallo College, and Reginald Green. On a side note for information, the Georgia King Sports Foundation is a leading sports organization that provides Moretta or the East Cobb community the chance or opportunity to improve their skill level as developers develop self-confidence in highly competitive sports. So congratulations on that huge endeavor. The Northwest Conference saw the Vancouver Dragons play a pair of home games at Trinity Western University over the course of this past weekend. And the first game was against the Bellingham Bulls, who came to town in hopes of going home with a W. But that was on the outside of the rim and it fell back down without sinking. Lindgren comes up, throws it back around. Zaid gets another basket on the point right there. Walking his way up is Zaid. Zaid takes his time. Looks basket, hammers that one. Nice basket by Kendall. Kendall gets that one. Boy, they're really pounding right now, the Bulls. And the Bulls are having a hard time catching up and rebounding. Berg back to the middle part of the court. Back to Lindgren. Lindgren back around Awok. Awok goes in. Back to Berg. Berg goes up, takes a jumper, gets it. Nice play as Mike Berg gets that one back down. They're setting it up, and Mason goes in, trying to get it to fall. Unable to that time, and Kendall will pick it up. Kendall throws it back over. Mason gets a basket right there, and that was a nice three-pointer to put him up 40 to 11 right. Dopjin had it, Dopjin's wearing 15 for the Bulls. Now they go back, unable to get control. Cabangula goes in, he gets the basket. Nice play, only a deuce, but he still got it nonetheless. Lindgren still in charge, dishes it back around over the left side, back to Newman. Newman goes in, goes up, changed his mind, didn't get the shot away that time as he gave it back to Awok, and he gets the basket down. Waking for it, Awok goes up, no, not gonna get that one. Tough play, nice layup though, just unable to sink it. Back pass, well played this time, Kendall hammers it! Doser throws it back out to Cardenas, Cardenas goes up, in and out of the rim, rebound, sink in the basket is Usherwood. Goes in, he gets the shot away, down the court is Berg, Berg home free, goes in, sinks it, nice basket! That'll make the highlight reel. Right side, Kamangala had control. He goes up, takes it. Oh, nice play as he goes up and gets a three-pointer. Now they're back, Usherwood comes in. Oh, how did he miss that when he gets it again? Finally, he got that one to sink. Now they're back, and they're gonna get control. This one throwing it back down. The fans are clapping, and the game is officially come to a conclusion right now as your Vancouver Dragons pulled out an impressive 134 to 63 victory. On this night, it clearly was not in the cards and the Bulls, albeit they had a shortened roster. They came up shy, dropping the game by 134 to a 63 margin score. Named for the most part can really be mysterious. And of course, Quad City Flames, a lot of people in town. I told the local Vancouverites that the Vancouver Dragons were playing the Quad City Flames. First question they asked me, Quad City, where is the team and what's it mean? So with that question, I went out and I asked the head coach for that night, David Harris, about the team and the name and how it all came to fruition. And this is what he had to tell us. Join me, David Harris, the coach today for the Quad City Flames. First off, uh, welcome to Canada. Thank you, sir. Thank you. First time up here? No, sir. You're used to our, uh, our soil, what we have to offer up here in Canada? Yes, sir. Hey, tell us a little bit about uh, not only yourself, but about the Quad City Flames and what they uh, bring. And, and basically, I've had a lot of questions the last little while. How did the team get involved in the league? Well, we were playing in the league last year. We got invited by uh, Kitsap, and so we came along with Kitsap and Tacoma. And so we, cause we played them last year ended up losing to the conference championship to kids have by two kind of controversial but it is what it is no kidding. you've had a pretty significant uh, basketball career yourself tell everybody where you've been playing and uh, what you know just basically what they should know get to know about you I don't play basketball at UVA sat the bench did a couple of years overseas um, I played up here in tournaments at uh, Simon Frazier at the three-on-three -three hoop it ups up here I got a bunch of friends that play ball up here so yeah, I got a I got some friends and family up here too we talk about the Quad City Flames where do they play out of and 
Tell us why the Quad City name itself. Quad City Flames represents four cities. It's Pialop, it's JBL, uh, uh, Fort Lewis, uh, and McCord. Uh, we represent Nisqually, and we also represent uh, Spanaway. Uh, pretty good viewing area, too. Yes, sir. Yeah. Nice size area. What facility do you play out of down there? We play out of the Nisqually Community Center. Uh, it's a nice size facility like this, you know. Great, great atmosphere, great fans. Beautiful, beautiful gym. Beautiful area outside the gym, too. Yeah, I know. The, the Northwest Washington and Washington State and a very, very gorgeous part of the country as well as, as the U.S. But tell us uh, today a bit of a rematch. Uh, if you're looking for bigger and better things, you want to uh, capitalize on it. Yes, sir. Uh, we got to make sure we don't uh, turn the ball over, make sure uh, we capitalize on the mistakes that we did not last time, and uh, make sure we, we, get, we uh, have a great showing for you guys as fans and our own fans ourselves. It's interesting because this is basically a 1-2 uh, matchup in the uh, standings. Yes, sir. We're second behind these guys. They're undefeated, and we're second in second place. Wow. Uh, well, what, uh, what are you looking at to move forward for this one? I'm looking at rebounding, uh, rebounding, uh, making sure we don't turn over the ball that much, and uh, using our using our strengths and making it their weaknesses. Is your strength close under the hoop or uh, outside from the perimeter? We actually can do both, so it's it's going to be nice. It would be nice if we had a couple of our other players here, but you do what you do, and uh, we make it happen. Motivation, team bonding, and skill all build a successful product, and the Dragons entered Sunday's game with a vengeance. The top team hit the hardwood in a battle to see if Quad City Flames could extinguish the high-flying and breathing Dragons. Far side. Williams goes down, now the hoop. Spencer goes up. Wow. And Spencer goes after it. Never got control. Back around, far side. Kendall goes up, Kendall does this one back to Zaid, takes a shot, nothing but net. And Zaid steals this one, left court, left hand to pass, back around, back pass behind the back right there, as he got it back around, Mason gets it again. Back over, far side, good play to cut back to the inside by Spencer. Wow, what defensive play by Newman once again. Right side to Williams. Williams cross court pass back to Causey. Causey under the hoop. Back to Manning. Manny right handed layup. Oh, nice move. And boy, did he ever bury that one. And Kendall comes down the right side. Underneath the hoop. Inside. Awok goes up. Gets the basket. Nice play as he just hammered that one. Down the court goes up. Oh, nice basket by Will Causey. Long stretch pass, back down to Spencer. Spencer, look, dishes it back out on the left side. Back to Chappelle, takes a shot. Oh, nothing but air, and he hammers that one. Nice three-pointer. Now they go a long stretch pass, back down the court the other way. Zaid hammers it home. Have control of it. Lieber takes it, cuts under the hoop. Left-handed layup and sinks the basket. Nice basket. Kendo will look at the clock. He knows there's only about five seconds left in the fourth quarter. Now Kendall gives it back around. The buzzer goes, and the fourth quarter comes to an abrupt end. And the Vancouver Dragons have defeated the Quad City Flames by a 129-95 score today. Flames come into town, and boy, they were not sure what they were getting into, other than the fact that they were going to be playing basketball. But one of the clearly entertaining uh, aspects of the game was the celebration for Visaki. Visaki is a huge celebration within the Sikh community, and of course it was founded back in 1699, basically to recognize a collective faith for Sikhism. Well, what it was about, we had a lot of uh, performances on the court. We had the drums, the banga drums, and of course so the banga drums, it incorporates the dole drum beats as well as the tumbaia drums as well, and it's quite the remarkable event to take on. If you've never seen it, we're going to let you be entertained right now.
Week three wraps up for the MLBA Hoops Report, and uh, it's been a pleasure, as always, to bring this to you from Jericho Beach in Vancouver on Canada's lovely West End. Remarkable to have a boy. We talk about talent. The league is supplying lots of quality talent out there, and if you've not taken a game in yet, we urge you to go on out and take in one of the games at your local hardwoods because 19 teams, four different conferences, this is what it's all about. It's about putting the best product on the court for you to be entertained, and we can't ask for any more than that. Hope you've enjoyed the program. Coming to you from Canada's West End on behalf of Mateo George, I'm Steve Erickson. Thanks very much for tuning in and watching week three for this MLBA Hoops Report from Vancouver.